Warriors wrap up the home part of the season and the CN 900 part of the season with a 35-14 victory over Michigan Tech. Joe Abramson along with Rod Beard. And Rod, this was a lot of fun. The offense didn't do much in the second half. They did enough in the second quarter, though, to pull away, get this victory, and then the defense just went to work. Yeah, didn't need to do much in the second half. They had scored enough points in the first half already. Defense got a score uh, on the board in the, in the second half, but did enough work and, and really carried the day in that first half with the passing attack with Derese Roberson, Dakota Cup. I mean, the senior class really made their mark today in, in getting a big win, the seventh win of the season for the Warriors. Seven wins in eight games. Yep. And that's after, if you go back to last season, which was not a good year for these guys, in the beginning of this season, I think they had a stretch of being 1-10, one 1-11, in one one in yeah. something like that. Yeah. And now you're 7-1 and one after that. This is a different football team. Right. It, it changes the culture because now you um, – have a little bit of swag about yourself in terms of what you're doing on defense and offense. A lot of these seniors are leaving, but they're leaving a legacy of winning uh, and, and something to look forward to for next week, not even next year, next week against Grand Valley, where if you get a win against the Lakers, you can really change the perception of what this program is yet again. Hey, and let's not kid ourselves. That affects more than just the guys that are out here. That affects yep. 11th graders, 12th graders, people that are looking at this program, and that's important too. Right, and, and whether they win next week and, and make the Division II playoffs is something that you can start adding the calculators and adding the points and everything and doing all of that. But just from a culture perspective and how these players feel about themselves, the ones who are here and they're coming back next season, it, it lets them puff their chest out a little bit more about what they were able to do, especially, as you mentioned, the disappointing year last season. And you know, going back, you said, hey, these seniors and – Let's talk about the one we always talk about, Deontay Nicholas. Yep. Talk to Coach Winters about him, and he says, hey, the stuff he does on the field, you see it. Mm -hmm. He says, the thing he does that you don't see is the mentorship. Yep. What he does for the younger players, he's not the only one. Mm -hmm. These seniors do that for these younger guys. It carries down. They've had players like that all along. They've had people in the past, whether it was a Mickey Mackner, a Josh Rennell, a Troy Burrell, guys like that, yep. that show how it's done, and that's what this class has done. Right, and, and that James Hill maybe does a little bit more by example. Darice, uh Roberson does it by example, but you need guys like that to frame the program, and they'll have their names all through the record books, but now it's what's the next step when you transition this over? What did the, the Egglestons leave? How, what's the next guy after that? And we're starting to see some of those names pop up. And that's the other guy. He's Leon Eggleston's one of those guys, too. And you know who's going to be in the future? It's the Brandon Tuck Haydens. It's Jalen Lewis. It's guys like that. Yeah. They're going to be the ones that do it. Hey, there were a lot of highlights in this game. Let's take a look at those right now. First half, the Warriors get it down the field. And James Hill, on senior day, gets it to the end zone. James Hill finishes the game with just 13 yards, but he does have that touchdown to finish things off. But, hey, these guys came right back. Michigan Tech and they roll around a screen pass to Will Morano. He gets it in there, and we think this is going to be a tight game. It's 7-7, and nobody's stopping anybody. All of a sudden, the Warrior offense came to life in the second quarter. Yeah, it just looked like it was going to be a barn burner, and then you get Dakota Cup scrambling out here in what was kind of a, a, a dirty hit. He's out of bounds. He's also on the sideline. But the defender running at full speed can't stop, but still that's a play that you regret seeing. Cup said he was okay on the sideline, and he came back in and worked a little bit more magic. Came back in and verified that he was okay. They stopped Tech on fourth down, got the ball back, and this is the first play after the defensive stop. Deep to Doris Roberson for 65 yards and his first of two touchdowns. Six catches on the day for him for 121 yards. This guy's been a blast to watch the last few years. Yeah, last few weeks and last few years, he's really exploded as an offensive option. And just another touchdown pass here. Why not go to him again, right? Yeah, we knew that in the air that this was just going to be a touchdown. He's been so exciting and so um, good to see him break out in these last couple of weeks of his senior season. And Dakota Cup has come into his own more and more as a senior. Saw him run for a touchdown, saw him throw two, and we've seen him manage the offense out there. Dakota Cup, 12 of 16 on the day for 202 yards, two touchdowns, only sacked once. Then on defense in the second half, well, here's Morano. He gets to the end zone. He gets the one touchdown in the second half for Michigan Tech. Made it a little interesting, 28-14, and then they got the ball back, trying to cut it to one possession. Instead, the ball slips out of Fortress's hands, and who's there? Brandon Tuck Hayden, one of those guys who's going to be a leader in the future, and he got another one of those defensive touchdowns for the Warriors. Yeah, three defensive touchdowns in the last four games uh, for the Warriors and, and just puts the exclamation point on it. 
You see some of the numbers here, the passing yards uh, favor Michigan Tech. Not a lot of penalties in this game, fairly clean, but everything Sex. on that left side just looks like Michigan Tech dominated this well, game, except the score. Well, you know what, though? They, the rushing yard goes to the Warriors, and the 283 passing yards, let's be fair about that. You're down by 21 points. Yes. You're throwing the ball, and the defense is just letting you move a little, move a little, move a little, and then they stop you. The eight sacks to account for that. So they're not empty yards, but the 202 by Dakota Cup, they're a heck of a lot more meaningful. Yeah, if you cover up the scores on both sides of that, though, yeah. it, it looks like it was a much closer game than it was. The defensive touchdown is going to skew that a little bit. But Wayne State dominated this thing in the first half and just carried it over and did enough to win and uh, teched on the defensive touchdown to really make the score in the margin that it was. He said, hey, let's get it next week. Yeah. Let, that, That's let, what let's, you need. That's let's have a couple of those next week. Let's get sacks. Let's get defensive scores. Let's have the offense play all four quarters like they played in the second quarter today. Right, and you, you let your foot off the pedal a little bit maybe offensively, but defensively they played a, a good full four quarters, and the the first touchdown was concerning. The last one was just you know what this is. But play like that against Grand Valley, who's reeling a little bit after that loss to Ferris today, and you could have yourself something. I mean, it's been a fun season up here. Yeah, yeah, well, it, it's – Unfortunately, it has to end now, but it always has to end. All good things end at some point. Absolutely, but these Warriors gave us a lot to watch, especially these last few games. For my partner, Rod Beard, for Tony Ortiz, for our director, Mike Johnson, for our entire hardworking crew here at CN900, thank you for looking in. Again, the final score, Wayne State 35, Michigan Tech 14. We'll catch you all next time right here on CN900. Basketball season, it's coming.